Hey guys, Justin here, coming at you with a uh, another video. I've been pushing them out like crazy lately. I've been getting bored. This is actually a video response to Lutro, who I have been watching very heavily lately because I'm thinking about sleeving every cable in my new computer. So, um, I've been watching his videos lately. And all I seem to be able to build right now, or get a hold of right now, is a jig for cutting uh, heat shrink. As you can see, I already did a bunch of them. It's kind of hard to see while the computer's still there. Or, yeah. Anyway, let me turn this monitor off. This, this ain't nothing special. Anyway, I'm going to turn this one off, because, yeah. As you can see, I cut a bunch of it so far. I just kind of was bored the other night, so I took some of my reddish pink heat shrink here. I think the color faded from it being so old. I took some of this, and I just uh, took it. It was in a long tube strip thing. I just took it individually, piece by piece, and stuck it in this way. Put it up to the butt right here, and then cut it with a knife on this line that is actually not a line it's a groove I don't know if I'll be able to get that but yeah it's actually a groove up oh, there we go and each one of these are approximately within like I don't know I'd say 10 centim 10, 10 millimeters or so within an inch so these are all somewhere very 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 close to an inch in length and you can set it up to different lengths I did an inch because an inch seems like a very good round even number I don't know we'll find out in my first sleeving video but um this is a response to Lutro right here I'm gonna post this on his uh, sleeving tool guide video as a video response just wanted to say thanks for showing me this idea I know it's not yours originally but thanks for the uh, thanks for the tip on how to make it. I did make this out of household, just random pieces of wood I could find. There's my name on it with a fish, with a little fishy, cute, right? Yeah. Um, I do believe these are one by two pieces of wood right here, one by twos, just kind of cut to an inch and a half each side. Uh, this is half of one of these right here I actually uh, cut it like this and then cut it like this right there it's just a random 2x4 we prop cars up with in my garage I didn't cut very straight so I'm not a very good carpenter but you know it gets the job done whatever it does what it's supposed to I can't complain um yeah, other than that, I sanded it down all nice so it's nice and smooth on all the sides except for this bottom part because I don't really, I'm not going to be carrying it around like, hey guys, look what I got. No, I'm just going to be like, hey, all right, let's time, time cut some heat shrink. Um, yep, sanded it all down, did what I could to it. My screws were actually too short. They actually only went in about that far from straight up here, so I took a big old drill bit. I drilled halfway through each piece of wood, well, approximately halfway, I didn't really measure it, I don't really care. And then I just jammed the screws in there and got it done. But yeah, just a video response, thanks for the idea, even though it wasn't originally yours. Thanks for showing me the idea so that I could build one and save me a lot of money and a lot of time and effort walking around measuring each, each little individual piece at one inch and then cutting it. It doesn't work, trust me. I've done it a lot. But, um, stay tuned. More coming. See ya.